Captain Saki Fua. Archon Larsen. Take Ruby to the infirmary and keep her safe. Uh, yes, sir. Lynn, I need an explanation from you. The artificial Christomax has caused many security in- Archon Larson, I will give you all the information I have. I need you to give me your word that you'll assure Ruby's safety after hearing what I have to say. Ruby is not really a human. She's the result of an experiment trying to fuse humans and Grayspace entities. What? Ruby? She's... An artificial Grayspace entity. Just like what Dr. Clive did. To a certain extent, yes. Ruby and the artificial Grayspace entity in the listener testing ground are the same. That artificial Christomax may be attracted to Ruby. Do you remember who Rubilia is, Archon Larson? Dr. Rubilia, the first supervisor of Project Listener. That kid is a true genius. If it weren't for the accident, she could have achieved much and given much to Mororia. An accident? Two years ago, in a routine collection mission on the surface, Rubilia went missing in a Grayspace Entity attack. Her project was then handed off to Dr. Clive, who used to be her assistant. Wait, what happened to Dr. Rubilia took place two years ago? And that's also when Ruby appeared in Mororia. Ruby? Rubilia? Rubilia used her own genetic code to fuse with the Grayspace entity in the experiment. That's how Ruby was born. Fusing human DNA with that of the Grayspace entity is directly forbidden by Archon Harunobu. What Dr. Rubilia did was... madness! Since her father died, Rubilia's been running those forbidden experiments in her secret lab. I only learned of it when I found her journal by accident. I put a stop to her experiments and sealed off the lab. Out of many concerns, I didn't make it public. Instead, I exiled Rubilia out of Mororia. You mean she didn't go missing because of the Grayspace Entity attack, but it was by your orders? Yes. I... I only wanted this thing to go away at the time. Rubilia's experiments were too extreme. I didn't know what would happen if they went public, so I leveraged my position to conceal it all. If Rubilia really did create a superior abyssant with human intelligence and in human form, but outside of human control, it would be a great disaster for all mankind. Lin, how many like Ruby are out there? Are there any in this city that remain undiscovered? Archon Larson, Ruby is the only test subject left alive. She possesses a human mind. I can assure you that she'll not lose control and become a monster and threaten the safety of everyone. Even if you can prove that Ruby doesn't pose a threat, there's been no change in her situation after she absorbed that artificial Christomax. We cannot be certain if she'll be affected or controlled by the Christomax. Lynn, Executor, and Shirley, please stay here. I'll decide the next course of action after they run a full checkup on Ruby. Larson, I only wish for Ruby to be treated as a human, not a monster locked up in a cage and studied in a lab. I have my own thoughts on this, but I can assure you that Ruby will be safe. Captain Saki Fua, with me. Yes. <laughs>